In October of 2022, I started to notice a series of interesting signals throughout the HF spectrum. Over time, as I recorded these signals, interesting correlations started to appear. Were these just shortwave pirates? Were they Russian military? Was there any real way to tell? And by the way, what did this CIS-12 modem have to do with anything anyway? All this revealed. But first, let's take a quick review of the interesting signals, a few seconds of each, and how I mapped out this Russian military HF network. Черные береты, черные бушлаты, а в глаза стальная синь морей. Вдаль плывут морскую родины солдаты на бортах могучих кораблей, прилуги царицы полей. Лихая музыка атаки, точнее отдай на клюшку по сильней удар. И все в порядке, если только на площадке великолепная пятерка и вратарь. Суровый бой ведет следовая дружина. Мы верим мужику, отчаянных парней. Какие играют настоящие мужчины? Играет какие?
Now that some of the samples of these transmissions were shown, it's now time to come back to the meat and potatoes of this entire video. Why do I keep coming back to this CIS-12 modem? Finally, there was a glitch in the matrix and I tracked it down like a red dye test and followed it through the entire HF network. Let me show you what I found that would ultimately lead to the conclusion of mapping the network itself and the identity that this is, in fact, Russian military. Here's a uh, chart that I put together uh, in uh, May of 2024, uh, updated recently, and this is the actual topology of the HF network. Notice the CIS-12 is located at 7667 kilohertz. But how was I able to really identify this? I want to show you the glitch in the matrix that I followed next. Spanning out 192 kilohertz, I'm tuned into 6911 right now, while I have some text illustrating 7032. Look carefully at the glitch, and let's follow it. Let's look at the additional frequencies now, and we'll end up with the CIS-12 modem, also with the glitch. Next, I want to look at uh, 7032 and the CIS-12 modem side by side.
Coming up, we'll uh, see a CIS-12 uh, audio leaking uh, through the channel here as the uh, music goes to an intermission. Okay, that was an interesting uh, audio uh, channel leaking there. You could really see the uh, the active uh, channels somewhat distorted uh, as the intermission took place. Again, here's that graphic that uh, I put together. I've been working on it for several years, and uh, I think it's time to uh, just let it go. So that's it for this video. Uh, that was quite a bit of editing and a lot of work, so I hope uh, that uh, maybe there's some uh, people that found it uh, helpful. I'm Tyler, KA0KA for Signal Phantom. <laughs>